Oh, I finally got to do this pretty much on time. What's up guys, Penguin CJP here, and today we will be reviewing Sonic Universe 88. So this just came out yesterday, I already read it. So I will be reviewing it to you. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the epic variant cover, but I'll show you what that is at the end. Anyway, I'll just do a small recap. Uh, Amy and Knuckles are looking for the Master Emerald pieces so they can put it together before Sonic and everyone fix the world or else Angel Island will fall into the ocean again. They met Team Dark who is looking for Eclipse. They go to Hidden Palace Zone. Uh, Amy and Rouge get stuck in Crystal. Omega gets crystallized and then we find Nexus, I wonder who it could be. Hmm. Anyway, let's get on to the actual review. Here we see Amy and Rouge still captured in the crystal. They try to break out and they hear something coming. I wonder what it could be. We cut back to Knuckles, Shadow, and Nexus. And Knuckles is questioning Nexus about why he wasn't on the island. He says that he's been looking for the island all this time. Knuckles asks Shadow if he thinks he's legit. Shadow is suspicious. We cut back to Amy and Rouge who are being hunted by something. Hmm, red glowing eyes and a crystal hand. I wonder who it could be! Hmm! Nixus tells Knuckles that there's a special place where they can reconnect with the Master Emerald. He then tells Knuckles about the troll history and how it's very similar to the Echidna history. Knuckles and Nixus find the room, and then it's revealed, GASP, HE WAS WALTER NOGGUS ALL THIS TIME! I wouldn't have guessed. It's also revealed that Amy and Rouge's attacker is Crystallized Omega, who looks pretty cool in my opinion. He looks like Omega mixed with Gemini Man. Walter is about to put the Master Emerald together, and he doesn't know how. Walter throws Knuckles out of the room and blocks the entrance. Knuckles goes to find Amy and Shadow so they can break the wall together. Amy is relieved to find Knuckles safe, but unfortunately, the group now has the misfortune of fighting the newly powered crystallized Omega. Well, I do think that this issue is better than the first part of this arc, it's still not perfect. Yeah, sure, Amy and Rouge still have their funny banter, but the Walter Nogus and Crystallize Omega thing, we all saw coming. The best part about this issue, for me, was the troll history. In the old continuity, one of the coolest parts was the history surrounding the different clans. So this was pretty nice to see in the new universe. Overall, this issue was better, but let's just hope that the last two parts of this arc make it at least a little better and less predictable. This was Penguin CJP, signing out.